page, you will be learning the same choreography. Maddie, I'm throwing you in there too. I just want Nia to have a fair chance, but once I heard Maddie's name, I knew it wasn't going to be a level playing field. This is nationals. So if you're going to be here and you're going to be on this team, you are going to be the absolute best that you can be. Spread apart. Grand plié in second. I love that every single kid in there gets to learn a solo this week. But oh, the problem with that I is, is so that, sure that kind of half of these so. girls are learning a solo and wasting practice time on a solo that they're not going to do. Abby's taking three solos to nationals, and she's having the girls compete for it. I'm going to know just from the music, from the style of the dance, who it's going to be for. You can't take Paige's choreography and Maddie's choreography and say they're the same. That was our Susu thing. All right. Nia needs to compete for a solo with Maddie and Paige. It doesn't take a doctor to figure out how that's going to end up. Don't rush. I know that Maddie is a lock this week. It's, it's obvious, but I think that Abby is just having the other girls dance with her, which I think is a fabulous opportunity. It lets the other kids dance. They're spending a lot of time on this solo. Oh my God, just Jill. saying. Because this is the dance she cares about. This one. Because it's Maddie. Maddie. I think Abby cares more about Maddie regaining her national title, because she's still bitter that Chloe beat Maddie last year, more so than even the group number. Do you really, I really feel that way? Yeah, she's because had she's so many wins no. since nationals. I think you still have that no, in your no, 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 You're no. not going to let that ever Leslie, die. I agree with, with Christy. Maddie. If the group was really first, would she be spending an hour and a half working on Maddie's solo? No. So, so Clearly, she, that's what she cares so about. You're eventually, I will see the light. Abby isn't fooling anyone with the whole Maddie Nia Page like solo focus session. We know it's Maddie solo, and it's obvious to everyone in the room. I know that dance. There's no chance in hell that Paige will get that. Or Nia. So you think Maddie's definitely getting the solo then? I, I don't I don't definitely know anything. Yeah. While you were in there, Christy said that her Chloe was definitely not gonna get the solo. No, you're twisting my words. That's not what I, I said. Love twist I said I said no, Christy and Jill, did I say that today? I, I said Abby can't get over it. She's still bitter about it. And the the dance in there when they were working on it, that solo is the dance she cared about. I feel that no, no, Chloe gets I, every single no, opportunity. I said the dance that Maddie gets. Can I finish a sentence? I said, said the dance she cared about was Maddie's solo. You I, said this dance means more than the group back there because it's about Maddie. And yes. you're always harping on that it's always about Maddie. I feel that your daughter gets just as much opportunity as Maddie. And you're always being into everybody's brains. And you know what? Peyton would love to have the opportunity that your daughter gets. Your daughter's not always the victim. You might cry it all the time. She's not always the victim. Don't go there, you I'm know. going there. And you know what? Every time somebody calls you out Get on your something, away. you always say, don't go there. I'm don't going go. there. was breathtaking. She was an angel on that stage. She didn't let anybody down, mainly herself. Go, go, go. You were so good. You were so good. You should have heard them behind me. Silence. And your highest scoring elite junior 
Maddie got her national title, and she wanted that so bad. You know, next year, we have to win again. That's what she expects, and that's what we'll do. Before I give out assignments, I want to let you know that this entire week is going to be all about my mom, the best dance mom in the whole world. This week, the dancers pay tribute to a woman whose life revolved around children and dance. So this is a tribute to my mom's success stories. Our group routine is Amazing Grace. Everybody is in, except you, Mackenzie. You have a lot on your plate. Now, Maddie did a solo to Amazing Grace at Nationals. You are now going to rework this routine into a group performance, okay? So it's lyrical, it's pretty. Nia, you're in it, I guess. Yes? We'll see. Everybody, this has to be flawless. Now remember, girls, Maddie won at Nationals with Amazing Grace. So the group routine needs to be new and innovative. Get it? All right, don't let me down. Amazing Grace. That'll work, Maddie. They're doing a beautiful piece called Amazing Grace. This was a solo that Maddie did at Nationals, and she won, hands down. We're turning it into a group routine to pay homage to my mother, Mary and Lorraine Miller. Together, Nia, stay with them. When you step out on that left foot, make sure it's turned out. Everybody in, Nia. You're late, you're sloppy. The beat behind. Back here. Look where she is, where her leg is in the air. Your leg is like down here. And you don't push it either. Nia is getting one correction after another, just like the last group dance we did. She needs to pick up and apply the corrections I'm giving her. Oh, Nia, don't chug. I know you're trying to travel. Don't chug the pulse. The head has to elongate. Nia! Good God. What does that woman want? Blood. Nia, can you go get your mom and tell her to come down here? There's nothing wrong. I just want her to be able to hear what we're saying. All right? She's not pulling her weight, and that's all there is to it. Oh, yeah. you got pink! Hey, sweetie, how are you? Oh, you got the prettiest I costume. Come downstairs. No, let, let me be very clear with you. I will come downstairs. I'll be up front. You're not in trouble. What Abby is doing right now, she's yelling at you and trying to get you distracted so you lose your place and your focus in the dance. She can say you don't know the dance. But this is her game. Ignore her. You got it? Uh, look, I think you're getting the eyes. Yeah, well, I can go. She's go get them, She's tapping her watch. I know, she was tapping her watch. I, I don't care. I don't care. Yes. I don't want you to assume anything sitting up there. Nia's in the group. Nia has a costume. Nia needs to pull her weight. So I want you to hear the corrections. So if she's practicing on her own, you can remind her. So have a seat, relax. I am sensitive to her situation. So I'm not going to lash out at Abby, but I'm also not a doormat. And I'm not going to let her walk all over me. And I'm not going to let her walk over my kid. See, Nia, you don't want to be moving over, moving over. Head up! Don't lose your releve on that paw seg, Nia. Look at Holly oh is perturbed. Look at her. She is perturbed. Look at that face. I don't blame her. Oh, God, no. All right, stay in here, stay warm. Get over there, get in a split, do something. Thank you for inviting me down there. I saw a notice noticeable difference. Nia applied those corrections. That's taking the high road. So how'd that go? She's like, it's not, it's not pick on me a day. If you have an issue with an adult, take it out with, it, with the adult, not a child. The child is completely defenseless. Today, it's one child, and the next day, that some, it's your child that's on the out. An advantage. <gasps> no, wait, wait, I wait. didn't mean that. Wait. Just let... What'd you find out? I just got a text message. 
Hey, Melissa, it's Kelly Larkin. Who's that? Larkin She's Dance? Larkin Dance. I wanted to make sure you got my message on Instagram. I am coming to Buffalo this weekend for the competition with you guys. Can't wait to see you guys. My dancers are all excited to see you girls. See you Saturday. That's not good. They're amazing. I yep. know. And their soloists win. Oh my gosh, their soloists are like, well, they're good. Studio Larkin has great dancers, but of course, our girls are competitors. They know how to be good studios. Our group dance is not clean. It's not the kind of dance that we're gonna go up against a great studio and win. They just learned to dance an hour ago. If we don't win this week, then it's gonna be like, oh, they lost, you know, a pyramid when we have to go to the pyramid with all these new people. If they lose, heaven help us next week. You know, we're talking and we're all worried about Studio Larkin this week, but next week, we're gonna be worried about the other team. Well, if Abby's looking for talented students from around the country, no other studio is really training kids the way that Abby's training them, like learning a new number in two days. Absolutely Or not. a day, or in 17 minutes. <laughs> Well, you know, Abby always says that she wants people who can come in here and beat our kids, and Sarah beat Mackenzie in that eight and under group, so maybe Sarah's gonna be part of that new team. I don't think Mackenzie has to be, worry about being in Sarah's shadow or anything she like doesn't. that. She doesn't. You snap, and I feel bad, and I apologize to her, and I will not do that again. I would never ask someone to take their kid and leave, but Christy with Y doesn't know when to shut up. Girls, this is for her mom. It has to be good. Look, Abby's here. Oh, shh. Lock the back of that kneecap. I hate that she walked in during this song. This song's hard. Uh -huh. she's she's stuck. Stuck. Look, look yeah. at her face. Well, she See? looks like she's about to fall apart. I can't even look at Abby right now. As difficult as Abby is to work with, she hurts just like everybody else. Even though she pretends that she doesn't, she is a real person. OK, girls, I just want to tell you that we don't know what's going to happen in the next week. Okie doke. My life will change significantly. You never know how long you have on this earth. It, you have no idea. Okay, so make the most of every moment. Don't waste a second. Oh, look at her, she's crying. I feel really bad for Mrs. Miller and Miss Abby. I don't want Miss Abby to be sad about Mrs. Miller, so I want to do really well for her this week. My mom has defied all the medical textbooks and she is still hanging on. I'm not gonna be attending the competition. I'm gonna be here in Pittsburgh where I belong. I think I wanna call Abby. Hi. Hi, Ab. How are the girls? They're good. You would have been so proud. Girls, you wanna say hi to Miss Abby? Hi, Miss Abby. We're all wearing angels for Mrs. Miller today. Oh, thank you. Thank you, girl. You know what? Just go out there and post the world. Don't worry about the jacket. Entertain the audience and make everybody love you. All right. Say bye to Miss Abby. Bye, Miss Abby. Bye, girls. Bye. You know what, girls? I know that we've been talking about the number of wins all season, but honestly, it's more than a win. It's really about Mrs. Miller and tribute to a legacy. But the new team is coming, and you guys need to win today to show her that you guys are her dream team. Abby took a little bit of pressure off, but I'm putting a little bit back on, because this is a winning routine, and we want nothing less than a winning routine, right? Come on, let's go. Break a leg, girls. Up next in the junior small group division, we have entry number 56. This is entitled Amazing Grace. Studio Larkin. Their number was amazing. Now the girls need to get ready to compete. We could still possibly win. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch
Everyone was on. Not one person made a mistake in, in my eyes. Moving on to our elite junior small group. In third place, act number 38, Fix You. In second place, the score of 284.7, Amazing Grace. It's unfortunate that our winning streak has come to an end. And I sure hope Nia is not going to be the blame for not winning the 14th win. And in first place, the score of 295.2 points, Act Number 57, Tears of an Angel. These girls could not have done any better. They were beautiful on stage. It just wasn't enough, but the timing couldn't be worse. So we wanted this win for Mrs. Miller. They have five 15-year-olds. They were better. It's easy to be better when they're five years older than you. Well, it doesn't matter if their average age is five years older. They beat us. We're going into a new team as losers. Who's making that call to Abby? It's OK, guys. What are those crowds for? You could hear a pin drop when you guys were dancing. And guess who would have been so proud of you? Mrs. Miller. And what was that dance about? It was a tribute to Mrs. Miller. And you did that. She would be yep. so proud of you guys. You guys were gorgeous. <laughs> Overall, I think we did the best we could do. Girls, I'm going to call Abby, OK? Do you want to come around and talk to her? All right, let's get this over with. That's exactly right. Hi, Abby, it's, it's us. I just wanted to say that Maddie Solo did get first. Hi. Chloe was fifth, and the group was second. Girls, it wasn't about the competition this time. I am not disappointed in you. I am so proud of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. OK, we, love we will. Love you. Love you. Bye. Well, it's obvious that Abby has more things on her mind than a group dance. But next week is a different story. She's going to be mad at the girls, and she's going to have this amazing new team of dancers ready to take our kids' place. We're definitely going to feel this loss next week. <laughs>